Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 5th of December 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life uh, and having a nice time. I certainly am. One of the, Sometimes life just is beautiful as, they, <laughs> as the movie title goes. Um, some things just ha sometimes things just happen to fit nicely. I'm sitting at home here. Uh, I'm not going out today, after all. I thought I was going to have a lunch appointment, but my other half is sick. And uh, so I'm sitting at home, not doing anything. And it's very quiet because it's a public holiday today. And the factory, that, or warehouse rather, that usually spends time unloading and loading up and has motorbikes delivering, etc., um, is not working today. It's not, not operating today. And so it's exceedingly quiet and the doors are open and there's a breeze blowing through and YouTube I'm sitting at home on my new big TV watching uh, YouTube videos and the suggestion comes up for Diane Reeves and if you are, had asked me over the last 30 years who is uh, in the top five greatest singers of all time I would put Diane Reeves in there always uh, uh, over the last 30 years I would have said yes She's in there. She's in there. I, I mean, singers can come and go, I suppose, but Diane Reeves, uh, no, she will. She is permanently one of my greatest all-time singers, uh, jazz singer, of course. A concert at um, Trinity Church in New York a couple of months ago, and um, with magnificent Brazilian guitarist Romero Lambam. I can't say his real name right. <laughs> Lambambo. I always get his name wrong, um, but fantastic acoustic guitarist, perfect for her voice, um, wonderful playing, and of course the acoustics of a church make it uh, really good. Um, so I've been sitting here turning to jelly because her voice turns me to jelly. It's <laughs> music has this effect on me. If it's beautiful, even if it's sometimes if it's kind of a happy song, uh, it makes me cry. I must admit, music, not movies so much. Definitely not poetry, uh, but music does it for me uh, very often. People think I'm, Thai people often think I'm crazy when they see me <laughs> weeping away, <laughs> listening to music. It's kind of a very untie thing to do. <laughs> I don't care. Um, anyway, uh, that has, that's on. I've just finished watching it. Um, weirdly enough, towards the end there, just coming up for the, uh, the penultimate song, um, she started singing, sang the first line of the song and asked to stop and said, um, this is not what I want to say. stop the song. This is not what I want to sing right now and change the song. She said, I don't want to be sad right now because she was about to sing a sad song. <coughs> and uh, what a good idea. She sang one of the fleet, uh, a cover version of a Fleetwood Mac song, which I believe she's released as a single. If I, if I, if I'm, I think I heard that um, recently. And uh, of course, her version is magnificent. Um, and uh, so here I am, a, a weeping away, <laughs> just trying to recover from that. I finished it, the video, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna have some, you know, silence now. I just you just need silence after that magnificent singing. And would you know it? YouTube just recommends a concert back from the '90s of Rochelle Farrell, another singer that I absolutely adore. <laughs> and I thought, no, I can't listen to you now. I can't. I love you, but I can't listen to you right now. Uh, it's just too much. I need to not listen to music for a couple of hours at least. I can't. I, I just can't take it. <laughs> so what have I done? I've come back in here to play Sudoku with you on this quiet, quite it feels like a Sunday, uh, like a, you know when you have double chock, like double the amounts of chocolate, it feels like a double Sunday. It feels like Sunday on top of a Sunday. It's and even though it's a Friday. <sighs> Okay, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. This is the LA Times expert level puzzle. Oh, I forgot to mention what's going on in the news. Good news. I don't want to say anything sad or unhappy, so I'll say something good. Apparently, Skipton in the UK is the happiest place for people in the UK to live. There we are. Uh, I've never been there. Um, the second and third places were Richmond upon Thames, where I have been. Camden, yes, I know very well. And uh, there you go. So if you're looking for somewhere to move to in the UK, one of those places might be for you. Uh, but not for me, because Bangkok is the place for me. <laughs> I 
we have nines in the bottom row, plenty of nines pointing at the bottom row. Look at this, one here, one there, one there, and one there. So that gives us a nine in the only available slot. There's a little pair over here, one and six blocking across, which would give us one and six in those squares there. And mean that these must be five and seven. So, okay, so we've got seven blocking across there, seven blocking across here, and seven down there. Ooh, says he hitting the five. And uh, that's because five was on my mind. We've got fives up here as well. So we've got fives in those squares blocking across, five across here, five down there. There's a five, and that will also give us a pair of fives down there. And a pair of fives over here. And somewhere up there, of course. Four and eight blocking across here. That's a pair of four and eight, which is which? Don't know, but we've got two blocking up here, so that's got to be the two. And the other number, which is not four or eight, is three. So that's a three then. Uh, or one and six at the ends here, as well as one and six there. We've got one and six here now. I think we're missing one, two, three, eight here. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, eight. Yes, we are. And two, three, and eight together. So that's our one. Four blocking this square, four blocking this square. So in the bottom row, there's our four. Seven blocking down here and there. Nine blocking down here, there's our nine. We're left with five and six in those squares there. Five, six here. So five blocking up there, five blocking up here. Excuse me, sorry about that. Not mousing, <laughs> mousing in a straight line. Can't do it. Uh, this is one and four and six, right? One, four, six. Yeah, because we've got one, six there. That's right. One, four, six. One and six here, then that's the four. So four blocking back that way. There's our four. This is our eight. Eight blocking across here, down here, up there. Two, 
two blocking across here and up there. Two blocking up here, up there, and putting a two into that square there. <coughs> four blocks this square. Oh, we don't need four. Forget that. <laughs> I thought it was four. What is it that we need then? Eight and three. I thought it was three and four. It's three and eight. My apologies. We've got eight blocking up here and across there anyway. Three blocking up there. There's our three. Nine blocking these two squares, and we need nine in this column. It must go there. Missing digits up here are one and three. So three blocking across there. There's our three. There's our one. Two blocks across here, giving us two in that square. This is four. Missing numbers one six nine I think and one, oh we've got nine blocking across here and there so there's our nine we got one blocking across here so here's our one and six is the last number to fill in <coughs> okay I see fours down here a couple of them so that means we should be able to get enough numbers crisscrossing to get that four. That's not the last one. Where is, oh, there's one down here still. I thought that was the last one, but no, nope, there's another one to be had. And here it is. That should be the last one. It was. Missing digit here is not two. Missing digit here is five. Right, I think I'll just click on the numbers, actually, see where it takes us. What do we know? Three blocking up here, across there, across there. There's our three. And that puts a one into this square here. One blocking down here, across there. There's our digit one. One back this way and this way. Here's our digit one. It means that we find our six over here. And we've got six blocking across there. So there's our six. And the last number to go here is three. Um... Okay, back through the digits again. One blocking down here, down there, across here, across there. There's the final digit one. Let's see what we can do with twos, anything much. Two blocking down here, across there and there. So there's a two, two blocking up and two across there. Gets rid of digit two. We still need digit three. Three blocking down here, down there. Gives us three in that square. Three across here, three down there. That's our three. Number four is already finished, so let's move on to five. F Not sure. Six. Six blocks down here. Six has to be in one of these two squares blocking up, so six blocking up and six across there. Eight blocking across here, or the look, the only uh, missing digit in this row actually. I want to think about it like that. Eight blocks down here. There's our eight, eight blocking across here, and eight down here gives us the final digit eight. Five blocks this square here. We need a five in this column. It must be there. Seven is the last number we need for that row. Still need a seven here. Uh, seven blocking down. There's our seven, and the missing number here is five five blocks across here there's five uh five blocks this way there's a five 
Now we're looking for digit 6 in this square here. We also have a 6 missing in this block. 6 back here gives 6. And 9 finishes our very straightforward grid from the uh, Los Angeles Times, their expert level puzzle for today. Thank you for joining me. Now, can I go and watch some more music? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's just too emotionally draining for me. <laughs> Let's go and do something else instead, something a bit livelier maybe. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.